I have asked various medical um, professionals in your area about um, stem cell therapy and their opinion. And I had a lot of uh, negativity. They said that stem cell is actually in the experimental phase and that everybody said some were doubtful, others said try. Um, why is this? You see, this is a new treatment. It's actually a completely new concept. And the entire medical community sort of finding it difficult to accept the fact that something which was untreatable can now be treated, right? Uh, now, in our medical community, uh, a treatment is accepted if it is what we call peer-reviewed and published. So, when it is published in a scientific journal, which means that somebody from the journal and their reviewers actually review a work and agree to its publication, that is when a work becomes acceptable. And <coughs> our, uh, our work, you know, was published in the world's first paper. The world's first paper that is, uh, you know, I'll have to know, it was published in this journal, uh, uh, Stem Cell International, okay? It's a PubMed index journal, okay. where we actually presented uh, our results uh, of, of these patients, showing what are the benefits and its safety. Uh, this was the world's first paper. Now, after that, there have been three or four other papers, but this was the world's first paper. Now, why I'm emphasizing the first paper? Because it means that nobody prior to us had published this work. So it is completely new work. And so I can understand if medical professionals outside are not aware of it, you know, are not aware of the fact that this works. Now, slowly, as this work starts getting more and more accepted, uh, more and more people will get to know. To give you an example, see, there's that book. You can show that book, the book on cerebral palsy, because apart from, see, this is a book, it's an international book on cerebral palsy. Uh, saying challenges for the future and in this uh, the chapter on stem cell therapy is actually written by us so uh, now here's a book which has got chapters and it's very it says challenges for the future and our chapter is titled stem cell therapy for cerebral palsy a novel option cerebral palsy as you're aware is actually a more severe condition than autism because these children have very severe physical uh, disabilities too so uh, now it works for cerebral palsy, works for autism also. So slowly, as the work gets scientifically published, as it starts coming in textbooks, more and more doctors are going to get uh, become aware of it. Okay. Now, uh, uh, you said a lot of people say it's experimental. I don't agree with that. Something is experimental when you don't know the results. You know, when you don't know what's going to happen, anything could happen. Mm. Today. They are, apart from our paper, there are many other papers that clearly show the safety of this treatment, that clearly show the efficacy of this treatment. Now, apart from clinical improvements, we also have objective improvements. Uh, you know, we do something called a PET CT scan of the brain. And uh, a PET CT scan is a test of function. And so, um, you know, if, uh, for example, if I were to show you this, you can see this. Uh, see, this is a PET CT scan of a patient before yeah. uh, you know the treatment and you can see these uh, blue areas these are areas of hypometabolism that means areas that aren't working properly okay. if we did a pet CT scan of a normal child you would see green and yellow okay. you would not see any blue now see this after the stem cell therapy yeah. and you can see that the blue has significantly reduced yeah. so this is an objective evidence apart from the clinical evidence of the fact that the child's behavior is improving communication is improving social skills are improving this is objective evidence from a machine from a PET scan that shows that there is recovery of brain function that is happening because of the treatment so it will take time any new idea you know it's not just stem cell therapy any new idea uh, it takes some time for the world to accept it for the world to understand it uh, but gradually, as more and more work gets done, I'm sure all the doctors who told you that it doesn't work uh, will tell you that it works. And they will thank you for letting them know this treatment is available. Okay. <laughs>